Hello everyone. On completion of this unit, you should know. The principle of operation. The principal design features. The protection methods applied to arcing, sparking components to enable their use in enclosures. The installation requirements according to BS, EN 60079-14. The inspection requirements according to BS, EN 60079-17. How to do the restricted breathing enclosure test Since the presence of a flammable gas or vapor is less likely in Zone 2, the constructional requirements for electrical equipment used in these hazardous locations are not as strict as those for equipment used in Zone 1. A method of protection which falls into this category is Type N apparatus, which is basically similar to increased safety Type E apparatus except that there is a relaxation in the constructional requirements. The definition for electrical apparatus with type of protection N. As given in the British Standard BS, EN 60079-15, 2005 is, a type of protection applied to electrical apparatus such that, in normal operation and in certain specified abnormal conditions, it is not capable of igniting a surrounding explosive atmosphere. Zone of use is 2. Type N apparatus is normally designed for use in ambient temperatures in the range of, minus 20 Celsius to plus 40 Celsius, unless otherwise marked. In Zone 2 hazardous locations, the presence of a flammable gas or vapor is not likely to be present, or if it is present its duration will be for a short time only. This fact allows the use of less expensive methods of protection in other words non-incentive or type N protection. As previously stated, type N protection is similar in concept to increased safety type E protection. The design features for this type of protection ensure that, in normal operation, sources of ignition in the form of excessive surface temperatures, arcs or sparks are prevented from occurring either internally or externally. Since the design requirements are not as strict as those for increased safety type E protection, it is possible for the manufacturer to install within type N apparatus, components which produce hot surfaces, arcs or sparks, providing these components have incorporated in them additional methods of protection. These additional methods are described later in this unit. The principal design features for type N apparatus are as follows. Enclosures, guards, protective covers, motor fan guards and cable glands are required to be impact tested to 7 Joule, where the risk of impact is high, or 4 Joule where the risk of impact is low. Minimum ingress protection I, P, 54 where an enclosure has exposed live parts internally, or I, P, 44 where insulated live parts are used internally. Use of certified terminals. Terminals manufactured form high quality insulation material. Specified creepage and clearance distances incorporated into the design of the terminals. Terminal locking devices to ensure conductors remain secure in service. As previously mentioned, components which produce arcs, sparks, or hot surfaces may be installed in Type N apparatus provided additional protection measures are included. Energy limited apparatus and circuits. The technique of energy limitation applies the principles of intrinsic safety by the use of components which are part of the apparatus circuits, or out with the apparatus, to prevent ignition of a flammable gas. Energy limitation will involve the use of associated energy-limited apparatus and energy-limited apparatus, where both are separate entities, but when both are contained in the same item of equipment, the equipment is known as self-protected energy-limited apparatus. Associated energy-limited apparatus Apparatus of this type will use Zener diodes and series resistors to limit the voltage and current available to sparking contacts and energy storing components within the energy limited apparatus, or at the output terminals of the associated energy limited apparatus. Where the supply to the apparatus is mains voltage via a transformer, an upward tolerance of 10% must be assumed unless alternative measures allow dispensation of this requirement. Energy Limited Circuits in order that this type of apparatus may be correctly installed, manufacturers are required to specify the maximum values of voltage, current, power, inductance and capacitance including cable inductance and capacitance that may be connected. 
Enclosed brake device. This technique is used in, for example, the lamp holders of type N apparatus. The exo shows a typical lamp holder in which there are two sets of contacts. One set of contacts is enclosed in what is effectively a flame-proof enclosure in which the free internal volume must not exceed 20 cubic centimeter. This enclosure is designed to withstand an internal explosion and the voltage and current limitations are 690 volt and 16 ampere respectively. Hermetically sealed device A device which prevents an external gas or vapor gaining access to the interior by sealing of joints by fusion, for example. Welding, soldering, brazing, or the fusion of glass to metal. The example of hermetic sealing shown below is a reed switch which comprises a set of contacts hermetically sealed within a glass envelope. Encapsulated device The device in this instance will be totally sealed by an encapsulating material, typically epoxy resin, to prevent access of a flammable gas or vapor to an ignition source within. The encapsulant is required to have a continuous operating temperature 200 Kelvin greater than the marked maximum temperature and be free of intentional voids. The encapsulant should have a minimum thickness of 3 mm, or not less than 1 mm, if the free surface area is less than 200 mm square. Restricted breathing A technique mainly used in type N lighting fittings whereby entry to the interior of the apparatus by a flammable gas or vapor is restricted by virtue of good sealing at all joints and cable entries. For apparatus fitted with a device for routine testing of its restrictive breathing properties the manufacturer will have tested to ensure that an internal pressure of 300 Pascal, 30 mm water gauge, below atmospheric will not change to 150 Pascal in less than 90 seconds. If the apparatus does not have a device for routine testing then the internal pressure must not change from 3 kilo Pascal, 300 mm water gauge below atmospheric to 1.5 kPa, 150 mm water gauge, in less than 3 minutes. This type of protection is suitable for use in Zone 2 only. Mentioned above a video link, illustrating how to do this test. Marking the Table shows the marking on Type N apparatus to indicate the method applied to either eliminate or control spark energy and or hot surfaces. The following is an example of marking applied to type N apparatus containing sparking contacts protected by another method.